terminal here. Ah, brain extraction terminal. Once again, thanks to equipment failures, we're getting pretty backed up in this department. The brain extractors were never made to operate at this capacity. I think they've been running around the clock for the last few weeks. We usually end up with a pop blade from slicing through a particularly tough skull, or the hydraulics in the pulling arm seize up when the spinal cord isn't fully severed and the brain is pulled too early. I hope that Cyriletti doesn't yell at us again. This really isn't our fault. We all had a pretty good laugh around the extraction department today. Ansel tried mixing some fresh biogel with a little bit of grenadine and vodka and dared us all to drink it down. It turned out to be pretty good, kind of thick and sweet with just the right amount of kick. We came up with a little game to try and name the drink. A whole bunch of stupid ones came up, of course, but we finally settled on the Extractor Sunrise. Too bad we can't share with the other departments, but the biogel costs like a thousand bucks a pint, and I don't think Cyriletti would appreciate us drinking down some of her budget. Today was Halsky's birthday, so we made him a brain-shaped cake. Well, sort of. We actually just took one of the extracted brains and covered it with frosting. Of course, we didn't tell Halsty that. The look on his face when he bit down on the slice we gave him was pretty hilarious. Excuse me there. It was a waste of a decent subject brain, but the prank was totally worth it. We really have some good times down here. I sincerely hope that they don't reassign anyone away from the department. We're working well together, and our efficiency rating can't get much higher. Womack over in sanitation made an offhand comment that his job, having to grab what was left of our test subjects and dispose of them in the furnace, felt wrong. Then, not a day later, I was sharing lunch with some of the personnel from the assembly division, and they asked me if pulling the brains from our test subjects' heads ever bothered me. I told them that it didn't. I'm not sure why some of the people on this project are having problems with what we're doing. Maybe they should look for work somewhere else.